Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. We got some special guests in the building from Bold and Bougie, mm-hmm. Crystal Renee and Tamika Foster. Welcome, ladies. Hey, hey y'all. Hey, what's up? Good morning. What a title, Bold and Bougie. Bold and Bougie. I mean, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you yeah. know. Like, did y'all, um, did all of y'all know each other before y'all started? Because it's it's uh, Crystal, it's Tamika, it's Malaysia, Gaucher, Malaysia, and, Gaucher, and yeah. Princess. Princess Lofton, Baton Lofton. I always mess it up. Lofter. Okay, Baton Lofters. Sorry, yes. Princess, my bad, boo. You know I love you. Sorry. <laughs> Did y'all know each other? Like, we all friends or? Uh, I knew of Malaysia. We've been to, like, some of the birthday parties together, but it was my first time meeting all the ladies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, Princess and I were cool. She tried to get me on Housewives a few seasons, and I don't know. I thought it was going to be messy, but I guess it's still messy where we are. <laughs> <laughs> Some so, type of way. Jumped out mm-hmm. of the grease into the fire pan. So what is Bold and Bougie about, if, if no, <clears throat> we haven't seen it? I mean, I think all reality shows have the same premise. Mm-hmm. They follow the lives of each of the cast. So they mm-hmm. just follow us around each of our different lives. Like she owns a restaurant. Mm-hmm. I have a clothing business and I have books and this and that. And they follow us, and then they have us come together and argue about shit we don't know that we're arguing no. about. <laughs> Reality they just time. make up, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why did you say? Why were you late to my event? Because I'd be like, because my name ain't on the cake. It's not right. my event. It's not my birthday. <laughs> like, it's that kind of thing. So why'd y'all decide to do it? Because if y'all knew it was going to be beefing, and, and you know what they're going to put on TV. They ain't going to put the nice stuff. They ain't going to put your restaurant pack. They ain't going to put your, your cold line selling out. They'll show a bit out. of it. Not yeah, well, they, they, yeah. Did, they did a good job of showcasing our business and stuff like that. But for myself, I did it because, like, I'm getting back out here. I'm, you know, mm-hmm. single mom. And so I'm getting to my bag, period. And that's it. That's yeah. all that my only focus. Oh, my bag, period. So why didn't you, you know how some, some um, wives, they choose to keep the last name of the husband. Why didn't you keep? Last name Smith. Well, he's not known as Neo Smith, and mm-hmm. those are my kids. That's my kid's <laughs> last name, so it, it was an easy decision. Yeah, well, I, I mean, people did know his name, though. He's not known, and I mean, that's not what yeah. they call him, but people do know his last name. Why yeah. you didn't keep Raymond? I keep, I still use Raymond. It's easier, it's easier to use Raymond, but on social media, I dropped it because they would be on my page like, he got rid of you. He signed them papers. You got to be like, well, mm. damn. Mm. But my kids have the same name. My passport. It's just so much to change that stuff. Yeah. Your credit cards, your bank accounts, your passport, your social security. Who got that kind of time? I don't yeah. got time to be in line everywhere like, social media want me to change my name. Yeah. The only black community really trip off of that. Yeah. Think about it. We'd be mad. That's because mm. they're fans of the artists, so they think that we mm. took their husbands, and it's just a mess. Yeah. Tell us more about these niggas. I like when people have those conversations. These niggas. <laughs> <laughs> more about it's these fact. niggas. <laughs> no, seriously, though. It's only the black community that, like, flip out over it. Mm-hmm. Because you'll see the Hiltons and people like that. They'll keep the same last name. It doesn't matter. So it matches their children. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Black people be so worried about your last name. And yeah. it becomes your brand after a while. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to let, let that go for or social media. I got you. I also think yeah. people will, uh people always want drama. So if they think y'all not t- t- together, they think you keeping the last name means to hold on to his. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. I ain't mm-hmm. hold on to nothing at all. Yeah. Except these cheering. That's it. That's right. <laughs> that's all. Like yeah. That's it. Well, congratulations on your restaurant business, girl. Thank you, yeah. girl. And the first Thank episode you. of um, Bold and Bu- Bougie. You doing music? Girl, you, no. You, you Girl, rap it? No. no, that's something I do for fun. You know, you've heard some of my stuff. Oh, I've yes, heard I some have. of yours. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And but they, they played with that scene. They played hard okay. with that. It was nasty. So work. you're not taking it serious. No, it was just something I do for fun to let off steam. Yeah. Okay. And but you but you got a name and everything. VVS, what's up? Well, Eric Bell just gave me that name, so I mean, why not ride with it? VVS. VVS. Oh, okay, okay. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Jesus, I thought she was about to really, really drop something. Nah, nah. You, she made a single. Nah. She did. I got, it. I got like uh, hella songs, like yeah. over forty songs. Yeah. And you, so you're that's something that you're never gonna do. I don't, I don't think. I mean, I'm 37. I mean, you know. So I don't want to be like geriatric a rapper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, I was freestyling and I got, on there too. I have so many things that are on my plate right now that mm-hmm. music is just like you know it's 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 a slow like build to making money and. I need yeah. I need the bag to come quicker yeah. than that. Does yeah. reality TV help or hurt? Like the overall brand mm-hmm. of everything. So the reason why I even agreed to do it is mm-hmm. because I have a clothing line, Eli Kish, and then of course my books. And here so I, I was stand. hoping, yeah, here I stand in white bras and now I have mm-hmm. an animated book coming out soon. And mm-hmm. so I was really hoping that it would really spotlight my businesses. And I think it did a and little it can, bit. Yeah. It did a little bit. I just think that they didn't 
get the like they want the drama of it. Mm-hmm. So like I had a fashion show, for example, and we had too much power running. So the generator, I mean, the lights went down for mm-hmm. a second. They highlighted that five seconds of the lights going down like it was a okay. what happened. Mm-hmm. Did they not mm-hmm. pay their bill? I'm like, come on. It was at an art gallery in Buckhead. It was. It was fine. And it was nice. But they made it seem really like, instead of showing the clothes and how beautiful the models were and all that, they didn't focus on any of that. It was a really nice show. It was, it really was a nice. great show, and the clothes were banging, of course. So it, so it, it hurts. Good. It didn't hurt. It just didn't help. It was like, Not damn. Now we put all that money into the fashion show mm-hmm. and, you know, selecting the models and the makeup and the mm-hmm. hair, and you guys want to show the five seconds that the lights went out? That was, yeah. That's what you wanted to focus on? And could y'all ever, like, have meetings? Or is it, like... Complaints or somewhere that y'all you know, can be like. What about my text? The group chat, oh, girl. Let me tell I you, am. this one with the group chat, we get a we get a message every day, and it's ten this. pages long. Yeah. I don't read none of that. I'm, you don't I, read I, it. I love you. I, love <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> I do not respond to the group chat. Take yeah. me out of it, please. I go off. I be giving yeah. whole dissertations about oh, life. Is Tamika get a seven minute voice voice note person? <laughs> no, she don't need a voice note. She will okay. write you. You see, she likes to write. I'm a writer. She will write chapters. But yeah. I think that it's all, it's all in. <laughs> I'm memorializing shit. I'm thinking. I'd be like, check this out. We are bigger than this. We're above this. I was like, my brand is not that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I mean, I, I mean, when you enter into something like that, you know what you're signing up for. So I think it's up to the individual on how you conduct yourself yeah. and how you handle yourself. Thanks. Like yeah. for me, I feel like it was a benefit to me because you know I don't really speak out. I don't really do all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. So it it was able to showcase like who I am as a person and my morals and my standards and how I am. So. It, it it worked out for me actually very well. So. Uh, we really yeah. started out rocky on the yes, show. Honey. Oh, y'all too. Initially, yeah. why? Well, because this is the thing. I'm friends with her ex husband's mm-hmm. first. I don't know, girl. Ex fiance. Ex fiance. You confuse yeah. me. What? What? I know. I don't. <laughs> You're friends with the ex husband's ex fiance. Yeah. yeah. I'm friends with Monetta. Yeah. That's okay, my girl, thank you. right? Because right. we did a show years ago, and mm-hmm. gotcha. and she's I'm just loyal like that. So when I met her, I was she just was, hot. She was drunk. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Was, they got yeah. her. They She's got petty. Okay. They got, mm, no, she wasn't petty. She okay. was just being a real. No. She was just being a real ass bitch to me. I respected it, but of course that was a moment that they were going to blow up. And they up, made that a big deal. Thing. I just said hi. I said hi. I'm Tamika. I was like, I'm friends with Mo. Like, gotcha. like, so you know who I am. Like, put a face with the name, whatever. Mm-hmm. And they made it like, doom, doom, doom. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's go to commercial. Like it was some drama. And I was just like, I'm just telling. Her I'm friends with Mo. And that's it. But it is the way they amplified it. They, yeah, they, they had it the up. music mm-hmm. in the awkward pause where her mouth was like, mm-hmm. yeah. Looked like she and was it, shocked. And <laughs> they gave you shots before the, before that shot. Did they? We was, the, we was, yeah. The, they were serving but us. But actually, she's like one of my favorite people on the show. Like, we hang out in real life. Like, yeah. that's my boo. Would yeah. y'all date celebrities again since, you're, like, your life is so out there? Like, they pick in part everything that you guys do. I think I want a uh, man that sit behind a desk. Mm-hmm. I, I, think I'm, I think I'm over it. Yeah. I'm just mm-hmm. over it. The whole lifestyle. I'll, mm-hmm. I'll, 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 I'll take the, the front, forefront you sit in the bed. Mm-hmm. Would you date a bus driver? Oh, no. What? <laughs> Why not? What? I don't know. I, 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 I'm, I think I, just a decent person. I have three person. kids. I'm a single mother, and, and my bills, the salary does not cover my bills, and I just, I, I, it's not for me. I'm, then again, yeah. I say, well, why his salary got to cover your bills? You should be able to cover your bills. I already know what the, you yeah, know. Tamika, you I don't, it's, it's not, not, not about right. that. I'm just right, thinking about it. But it's not about I just know what the people are going to say. Where you live at? I live in Atlanta. Atlanta. Let me see what the, let me see what the Marta bus driver making in Atlanta. Oh, she sure. already say, said no. <laughs> what to say? And no, no shade. No shade. Right. It's just not your preference. Yeah, What's like, say, y'all? 12 to 30 an hour. School bus driver make between 24, 50, 30, 50, 50, 53 grand a year. <laughs> <laughs> the average salary for a bus driver is 19, 11 per hour, but they got benefits. Oh, fast. They got benefits. Okay. They got benefits. I, I, got, I got my own benefits. Okay. Salute to all the bus drivers that out there. That doesn't sound beneficial. I appreciate no. you if Crystal doesn't. <laughs> no, no shade, but you know. I would yeah. date a bus driver if he owned the car. If he owned the bus? Okay, you Ebony know, K. Williams. Yeah. Yeah. There has yeah. to be some. Yeah. 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 Shouts out to Ebony. Yeah. I'm going to shout out Carlos King, too. Oh, what's up, Carlos? For bringing us together. Black I love owned. that. Yes. Production Black company. Owned. Kingdom Rain Entertainment, all the raindrops. So you guys got to catch up on our show. Mm-hmm. It's on All Black now, I think. They moved it over, you know, because we finished our season. Um, hopefully we're gearing up for season two. Why didn't we bring it back? I think they will bring no, it back. No, those are just okay. the, like the reruns. So, so, so you can gotcha. see it. Yeah, gotcha. I think they got it. They're, it's living on All Black. Yeah. I wanted to ask you about your book, uh, Here I Stand. Interesting title. Uh, because someone could say it's just a cliche term, or one could say... Usher also named his album, Here I Stand. That's so, right. 
So why did you decide to name it Here I Stand? Well, Here I Stand, mm-hmm. you remember that was a time where people were really in love mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and, you know, uh, having their first child and mm-hmm. all kinds of stuff. And um, the album was dedicated to me. If you read the credits and all that, and I was very kind of instrumental in the album, which kind of flopped. So I guess that's that go oh, there is my my musical taste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My A and R. I want to come back to that, but finish this yeah. point. Right? But anyway, right. so no, so here I stand. Um, it's it has a double entendre because I've been through a whole lot. You know what I mean? I lost a child. Mm-hmm. I lost my mom. I've been through, you know, two marriages, divorces rather, and I've just had kind of a rough road, you yeah. know. I think it started with you, Wendy, but we'll get back to that. Anyway, mm-hmm. so. Yeah, Wendy? I love her. Yeah, my she first. Said, yeah, she said, I love you. You never gave her a yes. fair shot. I don't think I was around during that time, was I? You were in the studio when I did my radio interview with her. Mm. That's when the, that was the first negative press run, and it just spiraled. So it was Charlemagne. What year was that? So Charlemagne right. started. That, that, that was a long dimension. time ago, and I was so happy to do her show. I was so excited. Damn, Charla. I'm, you know, know me. I was just there. No, he's, you he's was changed. there and was working. He, he, cha- he changed. He what, changed. What did Charlemagne like, say him. during that interview? I mean, it was part of me getting kicked out of the studio kind of mm, thing. They kicked you out the studio? Damn. I, don't I got think kicked I was out. Well, let me explain. I met her in the Gansevoort Hotel. I'm standing in the hotel. My PR friend that worked at one of the showrooms was like, oh, have you ever met Wendy Williams? I'm from California. I had not. I'd, mm-hmm. I'd heard of her, but I didn't know that she was like a shock jock, mm-hmm. Howard Stern, black, you know, mm-hmm. da-da-da. So I um, was like, no. And they were like, yeah, da-da-da. So she was just like... This is Stylist to the Stars. This is Tamika. Da, da, da. Would you like to come on my show? And I was like, yes. I was thinking like, oh, this is going to be great yeah. for my, again, for my career. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be on New York radio and I'm going to talk about my job as a stylist. Well, I got on there. The first question was like, so is da 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 gay? And does da 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 get along with their mom? It's just, just he started <laughs> asking about Sounds all my like clients. A- yeah. So she went right in with those questions and my face was like, that's not why I'm. And you I was, did your research. Yeah, yeah I didn't that's do your my, people fault. <laughs> it was a, I, mm. Well, I didn't have people because I met her one on one, and she was like, "Be there in the morning at seven or something." It was mm. crack of dawn, so I was excited about yeah. the press, and it was all bad. And from there, then when I ended oh, up, oh no, that was in Philly. Right? That was no on, on Park Avenue. When did after and when she was asking you those questions, no, he was sitting in the, in the corner smiling. In the what was he doing? Yeah, when you didn't do when you didn't do mornings. Well, when, whatever time it was, yeah. I was there and I got kicked out of the studio because the questions that she was asking, I was like, I don't, I'm not in my client's business. Mm-hmm. I would never tell it. They they're paying me, mm-hmm. you know. I'm a stylist, mm-hmm. and she was just like, that's not we can. You guys got to listen. You got to find the interview. It's Who bad. kicked you out? Her. God she was like, there's damn. the door, honey. That's not what she said. She was gonna give us the tea, but I thought she was gonna ask stuff like, who had a nip slip. Or yeah. who's late to set, or uh-huh. who damaged the wardrobe? Like yeah. you know, that kind of messy, not yeah. messy. Like, who's does dead. he talk to his oh, mother? Your homework. In. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know. I just yeah. thought it was a big opportunity. Absolutely, I, as anyone would think. Fail, you know. fail, uh-huh. epic fail. So then he's looking it up right now. No, I'm looking at. Oh, it was bad. I already found it already. He wanted to make she, sure she he talked about me even in her her documentary when she did the whole doc. I'm in that. Mm-hmm. Like it was like she she went on a tirade for many years. This is 14 years ago. And and many years after that, mm-hmm. all the media just kind of jumped on the bandwagon of, she's a man. She looks like a man. She's this. She's ugly. She's old. She's you know. So I didn't have a chance. Damn. No. Damn, Tamika. Oh, yeah, like, damn you, ugly ass man. No, I mean, oh yeah. my god, no, no. <laughs> no. Like, damn, that's after. Damn, Tamika. I'm a woman. They call me a man having all these kids. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> but the but the title is called Here I Stand because yes. the album was dedicated to you. So here I stand because yeah. I I you know I've been through a lot and so it's about remaining in a beautiful state despite it all. Like life happens, life is gonna come at you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Things are gonna happen. You're gonna lose people. You're gonna lose love. You're gonna have heartbreak, but you have to remain in a beautiful state. So yeah. things will happen. Amen. You have to come back to being positive and just in a good space. Don't you think I'm in a beautiful state, pretty much? Well, you know, most of the time. When am I not? <laughs> Name a time. Um, See that little when, win. When am I not? God damn it, you know, when am I not? Oh, well, when am I? <laughs> you don't shade. You, you don't be in a, a beautiful time. Mm-hmm. Oh, on the show. Well, no. I mean, being in a beautiful state doesn't mean you won't check somebody. Yeah. That don't mean you won't get your point off. And you stay but then ready. you go back. Then you go back to like, what are we going to go eat? You know what I mean? I'll cuss you out and be like, let's go get some spinach. Yeah. You will. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I don't stay in a in a suffering state. I stay in a beautiful state. Was yeah. the book therap- therapeutic for you to write? Oh, man. It was like a big diary. So mm-hmm. I just started writing it um, when I first was going through a divorce. I started writing it. And then I pu- put a pause on it because I was writing it from my perspective. Like, I wasn't taking ownership for anything. Mm-hmm. And so 
once I started writing again, then I started saying like, okay, you could have done that. So I have life lessons in the book. I, I talk about what I did to contribute yeah. to everything. Yeah. yeah. Do you wish you never came from behind the scenes? Like, do you? At times, mm-hmm. at times, I think. But it was kind of inevitable, you know what I mean? Like if you marry someone that's in front, mm-hmm. you tell yourself, I'm just going to play the back. I'm going to keep steaming your clothes. I'm going to be back here. Mm-hmm. But then you go one appearance, and then mm-hmm. there you are. Yeah. You're on the red carpet, then they start picking you apart. And now you out there. Then you yeah. have to redeem yourself because you were like, yeah, I didn't put oil on my feet that day, but wait till next time. <laughs> mm-hmm. Then you end up then you end up yeah. back on the red carpet again. Then you'd have messed up again, so then it's just a whole snowball. Once you yeah. get out there, you're out there. You know, I saw, uh, I was reading an article that Usher did, I think, in People Magazine about a, about a month ago, and he said he felt attacked and judged from fans. Oh, yeah. After marrying you. It was and rough. I, and I, I, I know, it just was, like, should you care what the fans think? You you love who you love. Like, yeah. You do, but then I think it, it weighs on you if, like, every day, mm-hmm. every time you open anything, it's somebody saying something bad about your wife. You mm-hmm. remember, he went on MTV like, shut the hell up about her. Mm-hmm. He kind of got tired of it. Um, yeah. He was very judged. Very, we didn't have a chance in terms of the public court of public opinion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you guys forgave a lot of people though, because there's, there's there were a lot of people <laughs> frying y'all and going at y'all, and yeah, you guys showed a lot of grace. Was that difficult? Um, I didn't. I was cussing them out. I was on Twitter like I had Twitter fingers bad as hell. Like, let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. You fat. Da, da, da. No, I know big that's back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> unbig your back and then holler at me. Right, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, Crystal, like, fix your damn edges. So no. on the show, <laughs> fix your edges. <laughs> um, on the show, you said that Neil had never asked you. Hell no, I know what you've been asked. Never ever. Me. Okay, because I asked ever. him. I just wanted, never ever. You know, mm-hmm. but but if he had, no, 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 okay. he knew that you went from Buffy Wild. He, I'm joking. I mean, I, I got three babies. Clearly, I did that. But I, there's, no, there's no third party. I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. I'm not sharing my husband. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Knowingly. Right. 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 Exactly. And so, so. that was, and it, that's exactly what the problem was. Like, uh, apparently so. Just, yeah. Apparently so. Yeah. You know. So but, Neil wanted a threesome, and you wouldn't give it to him. That's no. Nah, he's never asked me. He for never. Oh, he never asked. For one. Yeah. Is that men insulting? Know, men know that, who to ask. Yeah, them. I was about mm-hmm. to say. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that insulting for a man to ask? I don't think it's insulting, but like I just I'm I'm old school. I'm not sharing my husband. I'm not sharing dingaling. I'm just not doing yeah. it. Like it's too mm-hmm. much nasty shit in the world. And mm-hmm. I just I don't if you want something else, you don't want me. You know, so yeah. I'm straight with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And where where are you guys now? Because I know it was a nasty. I know it got nasty. You know what I'm saying? The divorce. Well, I mean, for him, I I was I was in peace. Yeah. And I'm still in peace. Yeah. I'm. Well, I'm I'm in a good place in my life right now. What was the decision that made you say, you know what, enough's enough. I, I need to move. Well, on. what's funny is it was the Breakfast Club. Oh, um, y'all oh remember? Why? Why? Yeah. Why? Charlotte. Was, Charlotte. Was, yeah. was, was the intro. Yeah. No, was you was, no, you wasn't yeah. here. You wasn't here. Yeah. Jesus. So remember when y'all asked him the question, um, it, would he be okay um, if he, not knowing if his partner was cheating? And he was like, oh, I would live in a blissful bubble. Mm-hmm. So somebody sent me that, and it was like something in my stomach was like, uh-uh, mm-hmm. something ain't right. Is that how he wants me to think? And then I found everything that I needed to find that day, and I and I left that day. You find that phone? clip, Eddie. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Jesus. That did you go day. through his phone, or how did you find everything you needed it, to find? It was a, it was a phone. Mm-hmm. It was a phone. That is smart. Yeah, right. you could have been some type of detective. Because mm-hmm. if you, no, they say oh, that. Man. If was you listen to that. a person say something, you be yep. like, you know what? Let me check. He's projecting. Let me go snoop around him and see what he got going yeah. on. Mm-hmm. Lord. Mm-hmm. So he just you because were, because he because with me he he was. He's, he has a little jealousy in him or whatever, mm-hmm. so I know that he would never be okay with me doing that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So Unless he did like, it. Yeah, so it was like, mm-mm, something ain't right. Mm-hmm. Did he come clean all the way? He had no choice. He had no choice. You know, and, and I feel like that was just God's redirection for me. It was a situation that was no longer serving me, and he knew that that wasn't what I wanted in a marriage, and he just removed me from that situation, and I think that he did it in a way that I had no choice to leave because my values and my morals would never be involved in something like that. So. Yeah. Was it the first time you caught him cheating or? Yeah. Or was the, I, when I, in 2020, I thought that it was a thing and I left him then. So if I thought something and now I know something. Yeah. You Are me? you sure though? Because black men don't cheat. Huh? Your, you, can, you can leave that's, your own studio, okay? He, with right. your own he loves <laughs> triggering yes, like, when uh-uh. he was saying that. Yeah. Think, you know, no. I think that all men cheat. Mm-hmm. I really what? do. Oh, no, let me tell you. All the black men in here like, no. No, no, all the black. I think, 
It's yeah, three. He ain't black. He ain't black. That's what I'm looking. I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I think there's, I think there's different types. Like there's men that have cheated and learned their lesson, and then like they find someone that are like, I would yeah, never do that. I was gonna. And then say there's that. there's men that that's just what what they do. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So it just yeah. I don't think I don't yeah. I don't think it's it's realistic to believe that a per- I don't even think that we are. I don't know. I don't think we're gonna be made for made. Oh, me. I don't well, think I'm so. not sure. <laughs> not, not like just that. Just one person. So you don't one think One person that for the rest of your life to death. One man. Mm-hmm. Made for monogamy. For the rest of your life, yeah. I don't believe. No, I believe. I think so. Hmm. If you find that per- if you find that yeah, one that so actually too. fulfills one you. One human being. Well, the reason we say black men is we say black boys cheat, right? And and most boys, when they become a man, then that's when they realize what it is. all men step out. There's some that do it on a serial basis. And I'm not saying from personal experience. I'm just saying, I just think in general, I have friends mm-hmm. with a lot. I'm a, I'm a girl that loves guys and they're mm-hmm. my homies. And I talk to them and they just do. <laughs> they just, mm-hmm. I, I mm-hmm. think if a woman is fulfilling you on every level, spiritually, no, emotionally, I don't, I mentally, don't agree mentally. But you're telling me there's that, that one trip to Punta Cana. There's that one time you and your homies went and you accidentally just met somebody nope. at the... Why, no, I don't, I don't think that's the country with just your homies. I think it's, I think it's his <laughs> man, a man's own pride. Man. You, <laughs> can't, you can't put on a woman yeah, gorilla, really. uh, you know what I'm saying? I love yeah. You can't put on a woman because a woman, can do, a woman can do everything under the sun. Cook, yeah. clean, do you, bedroom, mm-hmm. all of that. And if a man still wants to cheat, that's what he's going to do. Period. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think Black that it has anything to do with the woman. I'm telling you, if a woman fulfills you spiritually, mentally, and emotionally... They shouldn't. The physical, you won't even think about another woman. If that's the type of person that you are, if you right, mm-hmm. you yeah. have to be that, that type person. of man yeah, already. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you can be I tried. I still think there's those mm-hmm. slip ups. I think you have cheaters that are serial and they just have a whole other relationship on the side. Then you have people that just slip up. Mm-hmm. I just think that something happens regarding another <laughs> party at some point. And I'm talking about in a lifetime. I'm, it may happen once, mm-hmm. but it still happened. I so, don't know. So how do you handle slip ups then? If you got that mentality and you feel like a man gonna slip up anyway, how do you handle the slip up? I don't know. I haven't. I don't know because I'm single now, so I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> have you ever had somebody slip up? Yeah, I think we all have. Yeah, yeah. I think we all guys have. We all yeah, they mess up it. sometimes. And you don't leave them. I have. I have. I've, I've left you over a slip up for sure. But in hindsight, mm-hmm. I don't think that's big enough to ruin your whole marriage. I don't think yeah. it should be. Mm-hmm. So have if you he guys, slipped up. Have you guys ever slipped up? I was going to say. I, I was very. I sad disagree. About that. Okay. Yeah. So you leave it after the first slip up. If you leave after one slip up, you know in a, in a, a marriage, I feel time. like nobody's perfect, and I guess on the in the situation, it's situational. So some situations, it's like, all right, I might could give you a pass. I mean, you ain't getting off easy, but mm-hmm. I might could give you a pass. But if it's something, there's degrees to cheating. Like you in love, you having relationships, you right. cuddling, you Kids doing all that kind of stuff. Different. It's not just a one off, and you only get one pass. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Because then at that point, it's repetitive. That's that's not a slip up. That's who you are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so if you if you that's something that you continue to do, that's what you're always gonna do. Mm-hmm. So have y'all ever slipped up? Mm-mm, I, I don't. I don't. Oh, really oh, oh, look at oh, Tamika though. Tamika's, Tamika's like, hold on, wait. <laughs> but no, forget the slip up. Tamika, you, you gotta cheat. think about it. You gotta, you gotta think about wrong. it. Right. No, I was just saying. I like how you guys decorated it. Oh. No. Oh, yeah, have you yeah. ever yeah. cheated? Yes. Okay. I have. Yes. All right. I have. I okay. have. It, and we were it, we were both cheating on each other. I was in a relationship. I found out that. My partner was cheating, and I cheated. You also. cheated back. I, I che- okay. cheated back. Okay. Cheated up. <laughs> okay, you cheated up. Yeah. Did you oh, get okay, left? You did they up. leave right. you? They, they should have just left each other. Yeah, we did. We did. We but left each don't. other. It was no one, and it was it was no one's fault. Uh, we both. It was both of our fault. We knew. Okay. We, you know, we both made and mistakes. She, she's not talking about Usher blogs. I'm not. Yeah, because you know no. the blogs are <laughs> like, Oh, he cheated. No. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I'm not talking about it, my marriages. Period. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. I'm just talking right. about relationship. Mm-hmm. I've, I think people don't realize that you date more than the people you marry. Say that mm-hmm. again. Every Lord. time mm-hmm. I'm speaking, they think I'm talking about my ex-husband mm-hmm. or husbands. Mm-hmm. But no, I've dated since and before them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I know other men, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Are you married only- again? I would marry again. I sure would. Mm-hmm. I would marry again. The right person who's got his stuff together. He's got to have his stuff together because I'm, I'm always trying to start a business or working on something. Mm-hmm. I'm really entrepreneurial, so you got to have your bread together. Yeah. Ne- Neil Clip is in there if you want to hear what, what Neil said. What I do want to hear it. I don't remember this. I want to refresh my memory. It. Dang, that's Thank you, Chris. We, we, we're putting together the Breakfast Club doc. We're trying to find these moments that have <laughs> caused people much, such trauma. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's listen. I personally am, the per- am a person that is not uh, angry at living in a blissful bubble of ignorance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The truth is rarely pretty. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, and in in this world, in this life, you have to choose your happy. So I choose to believe the the the, the truth that makes me happy, as opposed to searching for the the ugly truth that's gonna mess up my happy. I even tell my friends like, yo, if you ever found out anything about my wife, don't bring me that. I wake up every morning, the breakfast is cooked, my kids are taken care of. Every time we around each other, we smiling and happy, and, and and things are blissful. And then on my deathbed, somebody tell me that you was cheating on me my whole life. I lived a pretty good damn life. I'm 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 not gonna trip off that. I, that's me. Mm. That was the part. Yeah, that, 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 that's that factual though. That's true though. <clears throat> you must know expect, about that. Yeah, you, I, 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 you suspected something before then. Yeah, mm-hmm. so you suspected something before then. So I would be a fool and a liar to be like I didn't have suspicions or thinking bad. like you know that any man as possibility that they're gonna cheat. Yeah, but to the extent of the way things happen, I I never in a million years would have. You know, yeah, like that wasn't terrible. that that wasn't the person that that I was in love with. I just want to know yeah. why you telling me that on my, on my deathbed. You trying to make me go faster? Right, I'm trying to enjoy my right. final moments. <clears throat> why yeah. would you cause me that kind of stress yeah. and trauma on my deathbed? I think I was just so surprised because being around y'all, y'all were like best friends. Like it wasn't just like you know everything wasn't always romantic. Like they was cool. They that was like y'all dog. were like real mm-hmm. best friends. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So that's what I'm saying. It's not worth it to leave. Well, girl, what? I, well, wait, wait, wait. Actually, I just that, that is that is yeah. your disposition. That's true. Yeah. Mine, however, yeah. is different. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, no, okay. thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah Because yeah. I know my worth, and I and I'm not gonna settle for just sharing somebody when I know I deserve a whole man. Right. So, right. what did y'all I meet? I think I'm just older. Like. We met. He had uh picked me for it was he was gonna do a, a mini movie for his nonfiction album, and he had picked me for the lead role, and that's how we met. Mm-hmm. The movie never got shot. So I don't know maybe it was a setup. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. He wanted you. That was the way he was gonna get you. <laughs> right. You know. To me, said something just now. She said you're older, so you probably just more. It took it took a long time mm-hmm. to get to the way I think now because mm-hmm. I was the person that if you even look somewhere else, I was ready to snatch your neck. You yeah. know what I mean? So I'm like, <clears throat> bring your eyes back over here. What you doing? And what you doing? Looking at him. Mm-hmm. I I was like, I was on that hot wire stuff. I just think I'm in a different, I'm in a different place, and that it took time to get here. So, trust me. I used to be like that, like, got, first I, of all, honey, I, I, yeah, I, I, I'm a pull up. I, my pull up I, I game respect, is strong. I respect your mind, but that ain't yeah. for me. That ain't for yeah. me. But I think what she's saying is she knows what she's not going to take, like, okay. and what those she are, will those. take. You feel I'm me? I'm just and telling you. I'm not sharing my man. Long. Life, life, is, life is long, <laughs> so I gotta be willing to share my man because I don't know when I'm gonna die. Damn, oh, that's damn. what just no, was happening. No, no one wants to. Hold on, let's just let's clarify this. Yes, comment. please, girl. I am a hundred percent not down to share anything. I don't even want to share my damn sandwich. So yeah. I no, definitely am not sharing no. my man. I am not that person. But I'm just saying that when it comes to a relationship, something I. So death do us part. Yeah. If he makes a mistake, I don't think that, that should that be the That is the, the death of the relationship, and we parting. Damn. No, yeah, Prison. for me. Mm-mm. Well, I used to. I'm telling you, like I said, boy, 13 years younger, I definitely would have said that. I would have agreed. But just get to your 50s, you might feel a little different. Mm-hmm. You mm. might. You may. We'll just see. Well, I'll be like, like, nah, what I tell you, girl. Yeah, Who like, you gonna share that, man? Now, Chris, you would link to to <laughs> Safari at one time too. I don't know why y'all yes. keep saying that. People could be in the same room together. Lord Jesus. Because I, I was, it was saying, you said you would do Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. That y'all would link. That y'all would date. I wasn't on Love and Hip Hop. They said that you were gonna do the next season. Who? Well, I don't know why they said that. I was mm. never. I was don't already. Don't get mad at me. I, just I was read already contracted to do the show that I'm on. I just read it. Don't get mad at me. Yeah, I don't know why they said that. So, but you know. But y'all were never. No, he's uh, cool, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I I plan to be single for a while because I I have a lot of healing to go through and do yeah. or whatever, and I don't want to distract myself from what I have going on because I'm so focused on my career right now. You know, I'm acting now. I I just did a movie, about to do another movie, so I'm I'm focused on Crystal right now, yeah. and for the first time, I'm I'm happy and content and just being with myself. Crystal, yeah. did you ever? Key Neo's cause because it seemed like you still got a little hurt. Like you did something. No, no nothing. Mm-hmm. Nothing. You ever hit his hats? Yo, you stupid. <laughs> oh, God. Stop. What in the world? That was just trying to snatch Fight his head his ass. off. Uh, <laughs> I got you now. Just run with that Go shit. Go get a storage unit and just right, put them all in right. there. No, no. I, I, I walked away peacefully yeah. because. When you when you fight and argue, it's because you still want to be there. And although, I mean, one of the hardest things to do is to walk away from somebody you're still in love with. But I love myself more. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I knew that I was going to go crazy if I chose to try to work it out and stay. You know what I'm saying? And I always have love for him, but it's it's different now. You know, so. 
How were the kids? I was, yeah. The I'm kids, sorry, the kids are no, good. Okay. The kids are good. You know, they go and spend time with daddy. They love their their, their father, and they're good. So I, the I, co-parenting is... <clears throat> I let him be a father, and, and, and I be a mother. I keep communication at a minimal just because I'm, I'm focused on rebuilding my life and what that means for me. So I don't want to surround myself with what the past was that could potentially put me in a place where I'm emotional and all those things. So I choose to just... Keep it separate. Yeah. So there was no drunk nights like, hey, big head, nothing like I that. I never spent the block. <laughs> hey, big big head. Head. Mm. But then he tried. <laughs> okay. What'd you say? <laughs> I didn't say what you What'd you say, Jess? I asked that he tried. Listen, he, hey, I, I, I think at this point he knows that there's there's no coming back. So yeah. we ha- we're trying to figure out what co-parenting looks like for us because I just... I just don't want to be around the situation. And, you know, I, I all the respect, all the love to him and, and, and no shade, but I just, when somebody hurts you to a certain extent, I, I don't want to be in that environment. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Did y'all try therapy? Did y'all try to make amends or you was done? You was like, there's no therapy. You was, oh, okay. I filed the next day. Damn. You what? Oh, done. Crystal filed, filed the, the next, next day, day oh, damn. after hearing that breakfast club shit. Oh. Really? It wasn't. The it wasn't it really. No. That, that is that is what prompted me to to look around. And yeah. Just, okay. How'd you get in his phone? It was Damn. the same passcode as all of his passcodes. Well, he wasn't trying to hide anything. See, some of them smart. They put their phone That's what you out, get out of the car. Of just, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, she been she been around for a minute. I'd be waking up real. I'd be like, hold on, where that other phone is? Another phone. So he was sleeping, and you just pick up the phone and just yeah. No, he was here. He was here. Mm. He was doing another interview. <clears throat> yes, he was at the radio station. I was mm. at the hotel. We was out in New York. You was scrolling mm. down. So when he came back, hold on. I was gone. He was so gone. by the time he got back to the hotel that from the interview, you was on his head. I was gone. I know. I didn't say anything. Oh, you left the. Oh, yeah, I left. oh my right. god! And you didn't tell him nothing. You, him. Hmm? you didn't tell him nothing. You just no. I mean, he 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 knew that his phone was was missing, and <laughs> so he realized and and you know. Oh my god! Mm. You took the phone and left. They took the phone. I am a black woman. I am not dumb. Yeah, <laughs> look, you yeah, just screenshot you, everything you and just leave. See, I would put it all back like nothing happened. Yeah. He didn't try to apologize and nothing like you don't. Just... I mean, of course he apologized, and mm-hmm. you know he didn't want me to get a divorce or whatever, but. He knows he knows how I value myself, and he knows when I'm not playing. And in that situation, I think he just he knew there was no coming back. You know, yeah. so it is yeah. what it is. I would you love know, to know what he learned. We from had yeah. we had a beautiful relationship, a beautiful marriage, a beautiful friendship, and I I don't regret it. I don't take it back, and I'm appreciative to the love that we did have because a lot of people don't experience the love like that that I had. Mm-hmm. You know, but that season is gone. That 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 chapter is closed. And how know, long were y'all together? Almost ten years. Mm-hmm. Damn. Damn. You look like damn. damn. I, I, I got a question for both of you on your on your healing journeys that you're on, your healing journeys of self. What what have you learned about yourself that you're most passionate about? My my strength and my perseverance. I didn't I don't think that I thought that I would be in the mind state that I am now because a lot of a lot of people would have broken, you know. And I have my moments, but I'm proud of myself for the way that I have maintained my grace in this situation, yeah. you know? So, because it's easy to defame <clears throat> a black man and tear him down and tell all the business and do all those things. I refuse yeah. to do that because, and it's not for him, it's for me and my children. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I don't I don't benefit by tearing him down. Yeah. I wish him yeah. nothing but the best. I want to see him succeed, but just not with me. Yeah. What no, about you, Tamika? I'm really committed to remaining in a beautiful state because I really... Like, I say this, I say it, and I mean, I think we, we share a friend. It's not to major in the minors. Oh, my bad, Brittle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Don't major in the minors. And I really, I'm really passionate about that. I, um, you know, you really question your self-worth when you're in a, a public relationship um, because your life becomes about them. Like, everything is about their schedule, where they have to be, mm-hmm. what time the flight is, what you're going to wear because you got to be with them. Mm-hmm. Um, and so you do lose a sense of yourself when you're in that situation. I'm happy now. I just I feel so free. I always say that I just feel free. I'm just able to move around without, you know, having that pressure anymore. It's a peace. Yeah, it's, it's a, a peace. peace that you have. Like, mm-hmm. I can't, and ima- I, I can't imagine though, because they scrutinize you. If you take your kids to the game, I'm sure they're taking pictures of what you're wearing. Uh, they're looking at everything. You go they, to the, the the grocery store. I'm sure they're looking at what you're wearing. Mm-hmm. I don't even care about what I'm wearing because I ain't never worried about that. Mm. It's always. Oh, even at the Super Bowl when you went and he 
He was there. He performed halftime. Oh yeah. I was How there. did you feel about that being there? It was great. No, I went. Yeah, I yeah. went. My kids were there. Um, he he did a great job. He you know he's dope. Like that that I can always yeah. say he's a phenomenal person and phenomenal artist. Yeah, it was good. They they were look. Yeah, they're always looking at my reaction. And everything like yeah. Did she clap? Mm -hmm. Did she cry? Did she I'm like? <laughs> I like his music like everybody else. Right. Right? And you got to realize everything he performed, these are things I, I was his stylist. Mm -hmm. So I did all those videos. I, I was a part of the imaging for the whole thing. It was important for me to be there. Mm -hmm. I was sad that I wasn't in charge of the whole imaging for it, to be honest. Yeah, yeah I heard you gave Jermaine Dupree some yeah. ideas for his outfit. Is oh, that true? You. you did. <laughs> That's when them socks that came from. <laughs> <laughs> I love JD. Don't talk so about it. Got... Not too much on JD. I'm That's just saying, my dog, man. Girl, did you like his outfit? Little socks. I don't I know said, about the socks. I can't I wait. I don't know the way, no. I don't know the way. I don't know everything. Don't do that. <laughs> I don't know everything. You know, you know what I think it is? I think people aren't used <clears throat> to seeing a healthy, functioning co-parenting yeah. sometimes. Yes. I have a healthy, functioning co-parenting situation mm -hmm. because my kids are, you know, 15 and 16, and they basically say where they want to be. And, like, we have – and we are very supportive of each other. It's like, I'm here. I'm in New York. Um the kids are with him. And then when he's busy, the kids are with me. We just, we we kind of got rid of that whole schedule thing. Like, yeah. you mm -hmm. have them on Thursday to Wednesday. And no, we just, that hey. That don't ever work out. Even like, yeah. are you traveling? Okay, cool. Are you going to be home? Well, are the kids going to be with me? Are they going to be with you? And I think we get along fine. Our kids are super vocal and grown as hell. So mm -hmm. They tell you what they want anyway. Yeah, they be like, I need <clears> to be a dad because my game setup is over here. He's got better Wi-Fi than you. I'd be like, <laughs> Damn. of course he's got better Wi-Fi than Everything's better. Would you want your kids? Of course, this shit is better. <laughs> Would y'all want your kids to be in the entertainment industry? Would you want your kids to be? Uh, I don't. My oldest, he, he, he. His father is his idol. Like he yeah. wants to do music. Yeah. He be trying to make his own beats. He think he got a YouTube channel. It's just oh. videos in his phone. So I mean, I, I know the. The negative that comes with it, I don't want that for my kids. Yeah. You know, I know. but I do want him to, you know, whatever his dreams are, mm -hmm. to to. To do it, you know, yeah. if that's what he wants. But I, I would prefer him to go to college, get a degree, and, and you know, do something else. But if that's what he wants to do, I, How old I will is he? be. He's eight. He just turned eight. eight. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. What about you, Tamika? Well, my son, um, Cinco, he's the fifth. Uh, he's sixteen. He's a gamer, so he really wants to do this gaming thing on a high level. Like that's his thing. Push him. He, no, I because they do good. Money. They make a lot no, of money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he is focused. He didn't go on vacation. We went to Anguilla and all this for spring break. He stayed. With his setup, he was serious about it. like I can't take my computers, I can't take all my monitors yeah. and my hard drive. I was like, okay, it's we'll a serious thing now. Yeah. He literally and if stayed you want home. Better Wi-Fi to usher than girl. You gotta let this man make this money on these. I'm gonna let him do it. I'm let, we, we're support. We both are supporting him yes, doing it. So I'll get better but food. My younger everything. son, get better food. Did the creative? He did a lot of creative direction for the Super Bowl. That's the one oh, I heard him nice. sing. He was wow. the one that was singing. Yep. Was, yeah, I heard it. Yeah, no, he, he's he, now he's a serious. He wants to be an artist. I don't love that idea because. I know what the scrutiny that comes yeah. with it. Mm -hmm. But behind the scenes, if he wants to do lighting and creative direction, and he he really was very involved in that Super Bowl performance, love more it. than he even that. got credit for. He really was like, no, not that song. And when you come out the chair, you need to stand and look that way. Uh, I was like, okay, uh -huh. Naveen. Wow. I, I like that. that. Yeah, no, he was definitely involved. Yeah, definitely. No, I, I wanted to ask you to me, because you said earlier here, I stand <clears throat> flopped. And we were talking about this, talking about that this week. And we were talking about not that 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 particular I was gonna person. Say, we never said that. We were talking about Chance the Rapper, and uh -huh. you know what happens when an artist, oh yeah, makes a album so dedicated to his wife, like Hear My Dear. Um, yeah, and the album, this album is whack. The album was good. Though. I thought it was great, but I'm Here saying Here Stand was a banging but, album. Yes, it was. And mm -hmm. let me tell you this: I'm gonna say this. Mm -hmm. This is in defense of him, really quick. Mm -hmm. And now I don't want to talk about his ass no more. Okay. All right. As if mm -hmm. okay. enough on Usher. Mm -hmm. Okay. But Here I Stand was so solid because he was ahead of his time. He he got married before anybody. Before this was before J and B. This is before Justin Timberlake. This mm -hmm. is before he was an outlier in like trying to be mature and wear suits. That suit and tie shit. That was we did that already. Mm -hmm. Sorry, no offense, JT, but you know what I mean. Like we we were trying to make him go to the next level. Mm -hmm. The fans weren't ready for him to evolve and get to that level. Mm -hmm. And then now it's cool. Everybody's married and see, we just were ahead of our time. It, yeah. like, we did it too soon. So they were like, he married this old ass lady and she's whack and that's that. And we hate him. Mm. And so Here I Stand Damn. wasn't received the way it should have been, but it was solid songs on that album. Solid Crazy. album. You said it flopped. It really so does that make you feel bad? I don't bad? mean it flop flop, but it didn't do a million, a million 
copies in first week like you know yeah. all the other albums did you blame yourself for that in some way i didn't i okay. think that i think i blame that i think that the label pulled back on it real fast like they put it out and it wasn't received the way they thought and i think they're just like all right guys, never mind. let's let's hide that tamika stay home have a baby just don't come outside no more <laughs> Damn. Like, they hate you Damn. Yeah, yeah no i i think i i got a lot of backlash like you're making his whole thing flop and i'm like that dude been married again and again after that. You know what I mean? So. Mm -hmm. Is the goal for both of y'all, mm -hmm. uh, because y'all have so much going on, is the goal for both of y'all to get to a place where nobody asks you about them that, anymore? That is literally right. what I say. I want the world to know Crystal or not for But it's impossible. You know what I'm saying? What, and that's what the, people always say. You don't want people to ask you about him, but you still have his last name. But I'm still another, I'm still my own per You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Diane von Furstenberg is Diane von Furstenberg. She was married to Count von Furstenberg, but she's still amazing designer like yeah. this thing i i just I, again it's our community it's do you, us do you still do styling like that or, or not too much i have a clothing line called eli kish mm -hmm. i will style certain artists if they have certain people if it they depends. have a budget it's not even artists it's just if you have a budget and you can afford to pay me i'll style you are stylists yeah. a lost art now like you, you don't really see them as like growing up in the, the 2000s, you'd see stylists. Niggas, say, you see these niggas? Yes, it's a lost art. It's a lost art. <laughs> 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 Styling is a lost art because it's so, it's oversaturated with people who have taken the title. You can work a Gap for Anybody three days and then you you're a like, stylist. Mm -hmm. All you gotta do is yeah. have a lint roll and a trench coat. You be like, I'm a stylist to the stars. I'm like, telling you, girl, that, that's an every lint roll and a trench coat. That's all you need. Oh, that's nerd. all you need. You walk out and say, You're the top stylist. I'd be looking like, Who's That cow? happens in every league. Show. Listen, people can. Get what two viral videos now they're a comedian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can oh, you know yeah. you can get a podcast now you're a radio person now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you know so I yeah, think yeah, it's yeah. oversaturation in every lane. Every honestly, lane now. it probably is, huh? Yeah, because you know why? I'm not just not too much on our people, but mm. it's low hanging fruit. They mm -hmm. people don't you don't see too many people fighting to be scientists or mm. doctors mm. or no. lawyers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It requires a lot of work. It requires mm -hmm. work and yeah. reading, yeah. like actual reading, like read. Hello, yeah. read. Mm -hmm. If yes. you would read, no, they want to do what's e you know the easiest thing. Like, oh, I'm a stylist. I, I love clothes. Mm -hmm. That's not how it works. Yeah, well, I saw lashes. Here, put them on. Yeah, yeah, girl. That's right. All right. That's right. <laughs> well, thank you, ladies, for joining yeah, us. Yeah, man. Make sure thank you, you uh, coming. Absolutely. Scream bold and bougie on all black right now. Go mm -hmm. get Tamika. Tamika Raymond's book, Here I Stand. Here I Stand in a Beautiful State. That's right. That's right. It's Crystal Renee and Tamika Foster. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.